oneness in worships of Allah. How can we understand this? That when a person embraces Islam and says, La ilaha illallah, then this is actually a pledge of the bondsman. This is actually the covenant to stick on the faith of oneness of Allah. Then when we when we say, while narrating Surah Tulfatiha in our Salah or otherwise, when we say, This is also a pledge which announces that we will worship no one other than Allah. Allah makes us announce and highlight this concept as Allah says in Surah An'am, verse number 162 and 163, قُلْ say, announce, tell that all my salah, my sacrifice, my life and death is for the sustainer of the worlds. He has no partners. I am commanded to be the first to submit to his orders. So this is the worship, oneness in worship of Allah. And this is exactly what we have been taught to say when we say in we sit in the tashahud of our salah and we say, At-tahiyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tawayibat. All my, all my verbal, my physical or my monetary, all my oral, my bodily or my physical worships are for Allah. So now, the concept of iya kana budu is basically in two forms. It actually relates to two forms and states of mind. Number one, that by saying this and by believing and having faith in the oneness of Allah as worship, we mean what? That we will worship Allah and only Allah. Number one. Number two, we will worship only for Allah. We will worship, number one, we will worship only Allah and only Allah. And number two, we will worship only for Allah. Worships can be physical worships like salah, offering salah, fasting, remembrance or zikr, recitation of Quran, migration or hijrah, jihad, and then performing hajj as a component of physical worship as well. And then worships are monetary worships, like paying the zakat and paying charity in the way of Allah, and then then spending for jihad. And again, I repeat, hajj has a monetary as well as a physical component of worship. And then spiritual worships, like the fear of Allah, piety, taqwa, then remembrance, remembrance of Allah or zikr, Gratitude to Allah, that is shukr. And then dependence on Allah, reliance and dependence or trust on Allah, that is tawakkul. These are all spiritual worships. Now, all these forms of worships will only be for Allah and of Allah. That is exactly what Allah orders in Surah Fusilat, verse number 37, where Allah says, لا تسجدوا للشمس ولا القمر واسجدوا لله الذي خلقهن إن كنتم مياه تعبدون. Do not prostrate to the sun or to the moon, but prostrate to Allah who has created them, and if it is Him you wish to serve. So, worshiping for Allah, the salah will be for Allah. As Allah says in Surah Hajj, verse number 77, Ya Oh believers, you bow down, you prostrate, and you worship your sustainer, and you do good deeds so that you may be their successors. 
So all the salah, all the fasting, all the performing of hajj and spending of zakat and spending of all forms of charity will be in the path of Allah and for Allah. Dedication, ablation, vowing, offering sacrifices should be all for Allah. Supplication, lahu da'watul haqq. Supplication, seeking protection, a'udhu billah. Repentance, rabbi ghfir warham wa anta khayru rahimeen. Trust, reliance. Hasbi Allah, la ilaha illahu. Hasbun Allah, ni'mal mawla wa ni'mal wakil. This is all the oneness of the worships of Allah. And then in the oneness of worship, after all these forms of worship, the obedience of Allah. Obedience will only be of Allah. Submission surrendering will be for Allah. What does that mean? What does that exactly means is that we realize and we announce that if the desires of our soul, the desires of our soul, the orders or the wishes of our family, our spouse, our children, the traditions or the customs of our society and of our community or the laws, the regulations of our country, they, they, are, they abide by the orders of Quran and Hadith. They abide by the orders of or the commandments of Quran and Sunnah, then we will abide by them. We will obey them. We will accept them. But if in any form, all of the explained above, which I've explained, they clash, they negate, they oppose, or they are contrary to the orders of or the commandments of Quran or Sunnah or Hadith, then we will not abide, obey or accept them. This is the worship are the obedience of Allah only. As Allah says in Surah Furqan, verse number 43, Have you ever seen a person? Have you ever seen a person who has taken as his own desires? He has taken his own desires as his God, as his Allah. What does that mean? That means that we are supposed to obey Allah. But when what our heart starts desiring for, we start obeying that and leave the commandments and the orders of Allah. This is making our souls, this is making our, our own self as what? Our desires as an Allah. And then the second thing of oneness of worship is that the worships, all the worships would only be for Allah. They will be only for Allah. The purpose of any of the physical or the monetary or the spiritual worships would not, would not be in any form other to please Allah, to save ourselves from his punishment, to save ourselves from his hellfire, to save her, ourselves from his wrath. The purpose of all our bodily or our verbal worships will we neither be to please or to impress people around us, nor would it be to gain the worldly repetitions, the fame, the popularity, or the worldly successes or gains, the purpose would be just to seek Allah's pleasure. No worldly gains or interest whatsoever. Prophet ﷺ was heard asking and telling the companions that shouldn't I inform you of an evil deed which is even more immense and gross and intense than the faction of the Jal or the Antichrist, they said, please do so. The Prophet said, 
concealed polytheism. And then he was asked that what does it mean? Prophet ﷺ said that if a person stands up and starts praying and he notices that somebody is looking at him and then in this condition he just prolongs his salah like prolonging the the raku, the prolonging the prostration of the sajda or the qiyam just because he wants to impress the person this is concealed polytheism this salah will not be for a light will be for impressing the person